Daily Wrap with Michael Kastner. More illuminating, less agitating. I'm Michael Kastner. This is the Daily Wrap. The headline today, the unemployment rate down to 7.8%, falling below 8% for the first time since President Obama took office. However, the term tepid could be used because, well, we're talking just 114,000 jobs. Out of, you know, around 300 million Americans, that is not a chunk. As a matter of fact, all the economists we speak to, and we bring this up every single month when the jobs numbers come out, is that for us to do a a jig, we need several months of about a quarter million jobs to get really, really excited. The recovery remains sluggish. The big drop in the jobless rate was due in part to workers settling for part-time jobs because they just simply couldn't find full-time work. This is President Obama today at a rally in Cleveland. This morning, we found out that the unemployment rate has fallen to its lowest level since I took office. More Americans entered the workforce. More people are getting jobs. This is uh, Governor, or this is uh, rather uh, President Obama also at this uh, rally in Cleveland, talking about the progress made in the last four years. Today's news certainly is not an excuse to try to talk down the economy to score a few political points. It's a reminder that this country has come too far to turn back now. Today's news uh, should give us some encouragement. It shouldn't be an excuse for the other side to try to talk down the economy just to try to score a few political points. Earlier today, Governor Romney was in Abington, Virginia. He talks about those who stopped looking for work and says the figures should be much higher. If you just drop out of the workforce, if you just give up and say, look, I can't go back to work, I'm just going to stay home. If you just drop out altogether, why, you're no longer part of the employment statistics. So it looks like unemployment's getting better. If the same share of people were participating in the workforce today is on the day the president got elected, why, our unemployment rate would be around 11 percent. That's the real reality of what's happening out there. And Governor Romney was at a rally in St. Petersburg, Florida, just a short time ago tonight. People in this country are having a hard time finding a job. People in this country are having a hard time making ends meet, even if they do have a job. And so it's time to have someone who's elected president who actually has a plan, and I do, will create 12 million jobs and rising incomes. That's the kind of future we need to have for America. We take you to Raleigh, North Carolina now. I'm Brian Hamilton, CEO of SageWorks. It's a financial analysis firm for privately held companies. What do these numbers mean to you? Because, you know, what we've heard is 7.8 percent, but we got 114,000 jobs. We really need a quarter of a million to, to feel something. Well, look, we need perspective, Michael. For two years, every time I talk with you, we have not depressing news on the jobs front, but pretty depressing in some ways in that we've had basically a stagnant jobless rate, as you know, for really two to three years. So let's look at this from that perspective. The number today is a good number. It definitely is. 7.8% is not great, but it's But it's not 8 (laughs) <laughs> exactly. It's going down. So let's hey, look, it's Friday and let's have some good news today. I think it is a good uh, news day. I really do. Because as you know, for two years, three years, actually, we've been talking about this rate that's stuck at 8 percent. So it's pretty good. As far as the uh, the trends go, I mean, we, we did obviously see more jobs, but you also are hearing folks, and this is your world, so let me know if, if I'm wrong here, that you have more people actually give up throwing the towel. So that's actually not good. Is that wrong to, to assume? Well, look, that's true. But look, if we look at the inflation rate, for example, we've looked at that a certain way for 40 to 50 years, and there's lots of ways that that could be adjusted to be a bad piece of data. Unemployment's the same way. We've got to compare uh, apples to apples or oranges to oranges, and we've got to look at it consistently. See, So that's true. There's no question about that. But um, really, when the number's going down after so many months of bad data, we're going to say, hey, this is a B plus. This is a B. It's better than a C or a D. Now, one thing that and I'm going to confuse everybody here now One thing at SageWorks we're a little concerned with, I don't want to damper it too much, but it's very interesting. During 2010, during 2011, privately held companies were growing at between 8 and 10% annually on the sales side. What we've seen, 
not to put, you know, not to rain on the parade, but very recently, Michael, the rate of increase of their sales has gone down a ton. It's gone down from 10% annual growth to about 5% this year. So here's the thing. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but what we're concerned uh, about today, even with this number, is if these companies are not out hiring a ton of people when they're growing 10%, what are they going to do when they're only growing 5%? So I don't want to rain on the parade, but I will tell you I'm a little concerned about 2013. And let me ask you this, too. We're talking with Brian Hamilton, CEO of SageWorks. Is it possible for these numbers to be manipulated, as Jack Welsh has been suggesting today and others? Look, uh, Disraeli said there's three kinds of lies. Lies, <laughs> damn lies, and statistics. <laughs> so I'm not going to even get into that. Here's the way I look at this. Uh, whether it's real GDP growth or inflation or the jobless rate, there are ways to manipulate any numbers at the margin. However, I would argue, you know, we're apolitical here. The fact is we've been looking at these numbers pretty consistently for the past 10 to 15 years, and I think that the fact that the numbers are going down is good, not down enough. $115,000, rather, jobs created uh, in this past month is not enough. There's no question about it, but it's a decent trend. Brian Hamilton, CEO of SageWorks, talking to us tonight from Raleigh, North Carolina. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, great to be here.